Consumo aqui na NRF 2025 no Javid Center em Nova York, nos Estados Unidos. Ao meu lado está o Carlos Victoria, ele é VP das Américas da Relax Solutions e que tem um stand super interessante aqui na feira, na área expositiva da feira e fala, vai falar com a gente sobre inteligência artificial, esse que é um dos grandes temas da NRF, vem sendo aí ao longo dos últimos anos, mas neste ano de fato a gente está vendo ele sendo aterrizado, né? a gente está vendo de fato como as empresas estão usando a inteligência artificial para melhorar o resultado dos seus negócios. Carlos, uh, thank you very much for being here with us. I'll first be of all, happy to be here. thank you. <laughs> And tell us about, tell us something, uh, some more about uh, the job that you do with the, the retailers and other industries. Yes, our objective as a company is to try to lower the cost of the inventory at the shelf and the stores. And so, what we do uh, is attack every area that we can possibly uh, focus on to attempt to lower the cost of that product being served at the shelves. So we do that by focusing our area of solution in three different uh, aspects. One is demand planning, which is forecasting and replenishment. The other area of action is uh, store planning. Um, and the third area of action that we play is in uh, price optimization and promotion optimization. The origins of Relex uh, date back to 2005, where we found an, uh, an opportunity of helping lower the amount of wastage in the food supply chain. And so this company was created around uh, creating an algorithm and technology to attempt to lower the wastage of that, uh, of the amount of food that was being wasted in the food supply chain. So what we did from there was to focus in different areas where we could attack the cost that was being driven towards the shelf. And that is uh, our main objective as a company. And so by doing So in those different areas of action, depending on the customer, the retailer, their problems, then we can attack uh, that ultimate problem. And you, you told uh, us that the company was founded in uh, 2005, right? Yes, right here uh, in Yeah, and uh, you, are, you are already in Brazil. When, you, yes. when did you arrive in Brazil? So we, we came to the Americas back in 2015. We were pre predominantly a European-based company. We came uh, to the Americas in 2015. And about two or three years, we decided to open operations in LATAM in Latin America. And Brazil, of course, is one of our main markets. It's uh, very important for us. And we opened a legal entity already last year. And we uh, already have some customers in Brazil that are happily using our solution. How do you see the use of artificial intelligence in retailers in Brazil, especially in retailers? Are they ready for that? Are, uh, they have uh, a lot of doubts, I guess. Uh, they can see already the benefits? Well, look, as sophisticated as artificial intelligence can sound and can be, the idea of the artificial intelligence is to simplify people's daily lives. And that's what we accomplish very well because our solution uses the artificial intelligence to help the retailer, the manufacturer, understand things that are pretty hidden, that are difficult to detect in the billions of data that may exist in a system. And artificial intelligence, what it does is that it surfaces uh, those issues, those exceptions, by understanding them and do it in a faster way than typically a human being would uh, be able to detect it. But you think the retailers can see this? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. We, we are doing it successfully in Brazil right now. We have several customers already using our solution. And not only in Brazil, they're doing it across other countries in LATAM, like Mexico, Bolivia, Chile, uh, Colombia, uh, Argentina. Carlos, thank you very much and have a nice NRF. Thank you so much and thank you for the opportunity of being able to, you know, share some ideas with the Brazilian community here. Thank you very much. E você continua acompanhando a cobertura especial Mercado e Consumo na NRF 2025.